Hello, hello, welcome into your daily. <clears throat> this is going to be for all signs, like, well, like, anyone. <laughs> it's going to be for anyone, general. Um, we might get some specifics, okay, like uh, messages about your family, friendships, relationships, work, finances, spirituality, um, personal development, healing, guidance. So there's going to be messages all over the place um so just take what resonates leave what doesn't and we'll just flow with spirit okay thank you to my great grandmother nyla thank you spirit of the most high thank you thank you ancestors known and unknown you have here cleaning house at the bottom number 37 okay so different messages that I'm getting here immediately off the bat. Um, I'm seeing that there is something unexpected for some of you, like you're going to get a, um, someone come into your house unexpectedly um, and like you're getting rushed, you're rushed to clean it, you're feeling extremely rushed to get your house in order, getting something in order. There is spirit of place here. So the spirit of place, the spirit of your house, the spirit of an environment is coming to life here with deep freeze. So if you have been feeling kind of down or um, anxious, um, sad, just not really yourself, very fatigued, the spirit of place, so the spirit of your home or the spirit of the land, the spirit of where it is that you reside in has been stagnant, okay? It's been frozen, it's been stuck, okay? Um, and therefore you have also been feeling stuck in that space. So I see that you, there's a lot of metamorphosis here taking taking place in this space as well as you, okay? I'm seeing someone doing grid work. I'm seeing someone giving back to the earth. I'm seeing someone praying to the earth. I'm seeing someone work with nature, healing nature. Like there's something that you feel like you have to do with nature, with the spirit of place, with the spirit of your home. There's something about your home right now that is changing okay it's going through a complete metamorphosis there's a lot of stuck energy in the home so i'm seeing someone saging cleaning their home maybe there's so much clutter um so you're decluttering in order to open the space right there's so much clutter when there's so much clutter everything kind of freezes and it lacks um movement with energy also lacks movement you you feel like you can't move in the space so it works um it works both ways. Um, one energy affects the other. So I see someone changing that and completely um, transforming it from one state to another is metamorphosis. So that's an energy that I'm getting. Um, back to the unexpected. Something is very unexpected. You're being guided to go with the flow. Um, you're being encouraged. You're being encouraged to go with the flow. Yeah, I felt this is, yeah, see movement at the bottom of that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm getting it, spirit. Um, I also felt that someone's ancestor is in the is in the home, like is in, so some of you have had a home um, here with Bone Collector. It's number one. Um, some of you, you are living in a home or you are living um, in a, um, in an environment, in a, in a land where your ancestors have lived. So this is like a family home that has been passed down through generations. Um, you might be noticing, <clears throat> excuse me, repeated, repeated patterning with your family. You might be noticing repeated things in your home. I don't know exactly what that means. It might be something for someone out there. I'm not gonna try to make sense of things. So it's for you guys to kind of um, interpret if it's for you. So you're being encouraged to go with the flow. 
there's a lot of movement here okay there's a lot of things that are wanting to move um and i feel like cleaning is where it begins okay there's gonna it's gonna take a lot of effort it's not an easy job i'm hearing like it takes a lot of effort you might even require more than one person um if you are physically cleaning a home or a land or doing um, spiritual work on the land or the earth, um, excuse me, of the earth. Um, some of you, this is not going to resonate with all of you, um, but I'm seeing um, a social worker, okay? This could be you or someone that you know. Okay, energy is is uh, fluid, so you might need to pass down a message to someone where a social worker is going to visit their home. Like, they've been doing this repetitively with the social worker, um, and the social worker unexpectedly visits the home, or this is someone's parole officer that visits a home. It's very um, law-oriented, where someone unexpected unexpectedly visits the home so spirit is saying like get prepared because the home the home needs to be in like tip-top shape in order for you to get to the desired result um that you wish okay um interesting 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 energies right now um i just want to go to the I just want to use a traditional tarot card. Let's go to the Santa Muerte, actually. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm also seeing someone, like, unexpectedly visit your home. Like, this is someone that you know. This is someone that is... Um, I don't want to say, like, someone that you've avoided. Some of you might be. Some of you, it's, it's someone that you are avoiding they visit your home unexpectedly so you have to like rush you're rushing to clean your house um you do have here making a choice here i haven't gotten to this message yet making a choice i love this because there's a lot of energy from spirit here that's encouraging you Okay, there's a lot of energy from the divine, from your ancestors, from spirit that is encouraging you at this time. Whatever it is that you want to do, okay, this cleaning house doesn't also, doesn't have to be um, uh, literal. Okay, this can be just cleaning your energy that has been stuck, okay? Spirit is helping you clean that spirit of place, okay, where your spirit lies, right? I mean, you, you feel like your spirit is stuck or like your soul feels stuck or like you you just feel like you haven't been feeling like yourself this is like a spirit a spirit metamorphosis a soul metamorphosis some of you need to make a change of moving in order to feel renewed yeah some of you are moving house i i didn't realize that i actually placed it uh, underneath one another and both of these are 1010 and we just had 1010 yesterday so you could be seeing 1010 cleaning house and movement some of you are cleaning your house because you are moving okay okay let's get let's get into some deeper storylines here Three of Cups, yeah, okay, so some of you, Three of Cups, okay, this is like celebration, this is someone in your home, this is someone sitting at your kitchen table, I'm seeing, so this is very, you know, significant of, you know, today is in, in um, Canada, it's Thanksgiving, so um, I'm seeing that.
Wow, a lot of a lot of things are, are coming here. So you do have here ten ten, and we just met. We just said that you have here the ten of swords and the ten of cups, and I'm talking about that in ten minutes. In the wheel of fortune, that's another ten. Wow. Um, there's a lot of renewal energies here. Okay. Um, you do have here the Knight of Swords and the Scissors, which is the Two of Swords, okay? And the High Priest is at the bottom with the um, Nine of Pentacles, okay? Sorry if you can hear my stomach. <laughs> okay. I am seeing you definitely needing to make a choice about something. Okay, here with the Two of Swords and making a choice card. It has something to do with the person because I am seeing here two threes. So this is number 30, which is three and the Three of Cups. Oops, sorry. So you're going down from three to two. Um, some of you are in a um, like a love triangle Okay, take it as it applies. If that's not your situation, don't take it. Um, but I am seeing that here for someone. Okay, you could be in a situation like that. I'm seeing that here. I'm seeing someone like finally, finally um, speaking their truth. They're taking the sword out of their throat. They are making a decision. Um... Mm, I'm just going to be brutally honest um, with the Ten of Swords here. I feel like um, some of you are going to feel extremely betrayed over the decision that is going to be made. Because some of you, it's not going to be you. I'm not seeing that. I feel betrayal, Ten of Swords. I see an ending. I see um, the truth finally coming to pass here with the High Priestess. I'm seeing here with time, twice here with the Wheel of Fortune, this was a decision that needed to be made a long time ago. I'm not seeing the tower, but I feel the tower. It's it's like a decision that needed to be made a long time ago. Um, and something is going to be not easy to hear because I'm, I'm, I'm speaking it and it's not easy to tell. So to me, that's um, symbolic that it's not easy it's not easy to hear, okay? But it's something that you need to hear. It's not what you want, but it's what you need to hear. Um, this is what's actually going to create movement and flow because if you're in a relationship and you're in a love triangle, you're in a, you're in this situation, you have been frozen. You have been frozen in place. Um, you physically um, couldn't move. You you spiritually couldn't move. You There was just... Um, uh, is, I'm getting this energy of like you almost gave up on yourself like you let your house go right you let yourself go um, this person made you feel like that or you allowed this person to make you feel like that and so the decision that is being made here is for your highest good so that you can move you're being encouraged here by spirit okay they're encouraging you to lift your chin up Okay, after this betrayal, this is where the cards are. I placed them here and I just realized they're encouraging you here after the end, okay, to lift your chin up, to keep going, all right? With the Ten of Cups beside it, what this is telling me is that it's completion and renewal, that after the end, there is renewed peace. There is a renewed sense of bliss. Um, you may not see it. In that moment but you will start to see it once a metamorphosis kicks in once it once it kicks into high gear I just heard like once the waves start flowing you'll see that okay that that's exactly what I needed to get the wheel to turn here with the wheel of fortune um, sorry I'm like I'm like <laughs> waiting for dinner <gasps> So I'm trying not to like spoil my appetite. 
let me just get a card. There's, there's a lot of other messages here. Just bear with me. So for the people, you have here, yeah, see the Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing um, like a final, I'm seeing a final closure here. It's like coming face to face with the very thing that pained you. I am, some of you, your person that is, um, if you're in a if you're in a in a love triangle, they might come and see you to make this decision to tell you face to face. That's for some of you. You have here the Knight of Cups. Okay. I'm very sorry if you're in that situation, but I am seeing that um, there are better things for you once you let this go, once you release this. Okay, what isn't for you is not meant for you. Rejection is protection. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Um, all right. I am seeing um, a new relationship forming. Okay. So let me let me fall into another um, let me fall into another storyline. Okay, so that was that storyline. Um, I'm seeing a new relationship forming, okay, here with making a choice. Someone is making a choice to, um, to be in a relationship, to be in a committed relationship. This is not a love triangle. This is not um, a third party situation or anything like that. This is between two people. Um, and I'm seeing this person non-committal. I'm seeing this person kind of um, here with deep freeze, like they freeze in place. They freeze when they when they think about relationships. Um, I am seeing that there is going to be movement in this relationship. I'm seeing this person um, confined in their family. I'm seeing this person discuss with their family the decision that they're about to make. Um, and it's going to make you feel very happy. Ten of Cups. You and them. You and them. Um, with the nine of pentacles, I feel like there was a lot of invested time in this connection, um, with a lot of unknowns, a lot of, in, a lot of invested time with a lot of unknowns, um, like not knowing, right? It's like, it was constantly, um, like both of you were constantly wondering, looking at both of these doors, like, okay, what's going to ha exactly happen in this connection um, when there's a lot of time being invested? What's going on? So I am seeing that. Okay. Um, in regards to someone's job, I'm seeing someone move, uh, move homes to be closer to a job. I'm seeing someone pick up and leave their home um, because of the employment. The employment is not, um, the employment rate is not very high wherever it is that you live. So you're moving, you're moving somewhere because employment is better. Some of you got let go from a job. You're being encouraged to keep your head up. You're being encouraged to continue um, doing what you have to do, okay? There is going to be um, a job offer that I am seeing here, okay? I'm seeing like an interview here with the Three of Cups, like sitting at a, at a conference table or Zoom, whatever. Um, some of you, this is an in-person interview, okay? The, the employee employer is making a decision. They're going to make a decision fast. It's almost like they're making a decision at the table while you are there. Um, like, please hold, and then the decision will be made really quickly. You're going to be very happy about that because you will have to make a choice like right then and there to take it, ending an old job and moving into this one, if that's the choice that you're going to make. I'm seeing luck. 
I'm seeing someone is getting really lucky. And again, like I've been seeing this um, quote, um, it's not luck, it's alignment. And you've, al you've aligned to something here with the Wheel of Fortune. You've aligned to something here. Like you got yourself out of a really sticky situation or you're getting yourself out of a sticky situation and you're aligning to luck. You're aligning to something here that you're going to be very pleased with. It has something to do with money. Like you're going to get something unexpected here with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Unexpected income, unexpected money, um, unexpected endings and beginnings. For, for a lot of you, this is like an unexpected end brings an unexpected new beginning. This is what it feels like. Especially with this metamorphosis card because you're going pretty quickly you're going quickly once this energy is um, completely um, unfrozen when this once this energy is completely um, let go of once it's unstuck it actually happens really quickly here with movement okay it happens really quickly so Moving from one state to another, a very unexpected end and a very unexpected new beginning. And you're being completely encouraged here by spirit to go with that flow, to go with it. Because it's leading you somewhere that it's leading you somewhere unknown. There are going to be some unexpected choices that you're going to have to make in your <coughs> career or in your love life. Hey, bun bun. Someone rang the doorbell. <laughs> oh, see, someone rang the doorbell. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna come to your house. Um, see, that's really interesting how that happened. As I'm doing this reading, having this kind of message. It's okay, Baba. It's okay, Mama. They're friends. Um. It's okay. It's okay. Come up. It's okay. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so something unexpected, an unexpected choice, okay? Something unknown, something that you don't see. You don't see that you're going to be led to a moment where there are opportunities that you're going to have to be making a choice. Okay, I'm also getting like you've invested a lot of time into something and it's going to pay off. Okay, it's going to pay off here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. You're going to be really happy. But again, something has to end in order for it to begin. Unexpected endings and unexpected beginnings. Happy beginnings. Okay. Um, someone is also, you don't see this, the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. I'm seeing that um, there is a friend. Um, there's a friend that's not telling you the truth. A friend not telling you the truth. Like there's a lot of investment in the friendship. And there was some kind of betrayal in the friendship I'm seeing here with the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, the High Priestess. Okay, so that truth is going to come to light. Um, you're being guided to listen. You're being guided to listen here. I feel like your friend is going to tell you eventually. Um... I feel like it's not going to be a, a um, like surprise. Some of you might be, feel surprised, but I feel like, I don't know why I don't really feel surprised. Um, and then underneath listening is the commitment card with come together. Okay. That was confirmation of what we talked about earlier with that one scenario. Some of you... There is a relationship. So if you're in a situation where you intuitively know that 
a connection is ending, there's going to be a new connection that comes in. Again, like unexpected endings and unexpected new beginnings where a new commitment is coming together. It's someone here, Knight of Cups. It's, it's an admirer. It's someone that you really don't see coming. There's a lot of choices that are going, um, that are happening here. A lot of unexpected choices, unexpected opportunities, movement finally, um, and unexpected endings and new beginnings, okay? So take what applies uh, to you here, leave what doesn't. Um, I'm not really seeing anything else because I feel like I'm just going to circle around. Yeah, I'm done. I love you guys. <laughs>